Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to do a short um, video here on how to um, cross cables. Um, I have a request for um, how to do cables on the domestic knitting machine. So I've um, cast on, ooh, what have we cast on here? About 20 by 20. So we've got about 40 stitches on there. Okay, and I've cast on just using an E-Rack cast on and I've just weighted it down. And this yarn is Canali. It's 100% cotton and it's uh, by it's Canali by Yeoman Yarns. Um, and I've chosen this one because it's a really good stitch clarity. Um, it's a really rounded, um, um, mercerized cotton. And there's no kind of real kind of texture to it. It's a very smooth uh, yarn. Okay, so that's going to show up my cables quite nicely. Okay, so um, also for this particular yarn, I'm on tension nine on the tension uh, dial on the carriage itself. Okay, so I've knitted a few rows and I'm ready to do a cable. So I've got my um, transfer tools and just to start off with, I'm going to use the one by one sort of um, transfer tool. So I'm going to do a one by one cable. Okay. So uh, if you've not done a cable before, it's probably best just to start with the one transfer tool, uh, cross them over and then rehang. OK, so that's what we're going to do to start with. So I'm coming into about the middle of the knitting and I take a stitch off using one of the one prong transfer transfer tools and I'm putting one stitch onto one of the transfer tools there. OK, so I just hold that there with my left hand. And with my other hand, I'm going to come in and do the same with that one. So I'm going to take that stitch off and get it on the transfer tool. So just like you would use it for a lateral transfer, uh, that's what I've done here with uh, two um, tools and two stitches together. OK, so I've got two stitches now onto the transfer tool here. Okay, And what I'm going to do is move one out of the way and then I'm going to come in with my right hand stitch and move it over to the other needle, which um, I've taken where I've taken the stitch off from the other um, stitch uh, from the other needle. Okay, so I popped that stitch to the left, and then I'm going to pop this stitch to the right. Okay, if you've got little fingernails as well, you can help uh, move those stitches. Uh, onto the new needle. So you can see that I've crossed them over like that. Okay, so the right hand one went over to the left hand needle and the left one went over to the right hand needle. Okay, so I've just got a little sort of, uh, where are we, a little cross like that. If you imagine my fingers are, are uh, stitches. Okay, so I literally just cross them over. Okay, and you can do multiples of these. Um, you can do them quite close together, but I suggest for now just keep it a little bit simple leave a couple of stitches sort of in the middle where i'm not doing a cable and then i'm going to do that cable again there exactly the same so i've taken the right hand stitch and moved it onto that left hand uh, needle that was empty and then i'm going to take this one over and pop it onto the other needle there so again i've crossed those over so if i lift that up you may be able to see that a little bit better Maybe get you in a little bit closer. Okay, um, so that's a little crossover there. So I've left two stitches in between and then I've done another one. Okay, so you can build up little patterns just doing one by one uh, cables. Uh, just get yourself used to using the transfer tools and moving stitches over, pulling them over. Okay, and then maybe another one. Let's see. That one. And that one. So that's the most basic kind of cable you can do, just crossing two stitches over like that. Okay, so I've done four actually in the middle now. Okay, and then what I would do is about two rows on top of that. Okay, and you can just see them there. Okay, so you can see the little cross. This is actually obviously the back of the fabric, so you won't actually see the cable until it's off the machine. Okay, and then when you've had a go with the right um, one transferring over to the left, um, you can try, let's 
to, let's go in between actually, let's go to those two stitches there, in between the other two cables that I've done, I've pinched those two there. Now this time I'm going to get the left one over the right, okay, so if you're right handed this might feel a slightly more sort of a little bit difficult, slightly more difficult, um, but it makes the cable twist in the opposite direction, okay, so I've got that one twisting the opposite way. And then I'm going to come in again with um, the two in between the cables below. Okay. And again this time, move the left one over to the right this time. And the right one over to the left. Okay, and then I'm going to do another one here. Okay. So again this time left goes over to the right and then the right one goes over to the left okay so there's my three cables in between the four that i've just done there below two rows below okay um i'll do a couple of rows in between each one just to clear um that cable um because basically what you're doing is pulling one stitch over to the right and one stitch over to the left so um, what happens is you're putting a bit of extra strain on these two stitches here. So um, if you do have a problem, up the tension. So as I say, I'm on tension nine here. And you see how open the fabric is. And I would keep it like that whilst you're practicing doing these cables because it just makes life that little bit easier. Okay, so when you've had a little practice with a one over one and left's going right and right's going left, what you can have a little play with is using the two prongs together okay so um, let's go in here and again it doesn't really matter where you do do this actually um, if you're just having a little sort of practice and I'm coming in and I'm taking two stitches at a time so two on my left hand uh, transfer tool and two on my right uh, transfer tool and then I'm going to do the same again I'm going to move those out of the way and then take the two on the right hand side and pop them onto the left hand needles. A little bit of help, if you've got fingernails it does help because it helps it kind of push the stitches onto the needles. And then I'm going to bring those left hand needles, uh, stitches rather, and put them on the right hand needles. Okay, like so. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit more pronounced now because we've moved two stitches at a time. Okay. And again, I would leave a little gap, possibly even more than two actually. So let's go to, four. let's leave four in between there. Okay, and then do the same again. I'll have a little practice with those. Oops, moving stitches over and over there. Okay. Now, it may help, depending on what yarn you have, um, it may help to bring those needles all the way forward like so okay and that helps knit those stitches off okay so if if it's fine if you're finding that it's those stitches are not knitting off nicely as they should you can bring those needles forward okay and providing you've not got your Russell levers um, sticking out facing you or the NH lever on H they will go back and knit into the main uh, bed of the knitting there. Okay, so I'm just going to come across nice and slowly because this is a big strain that we're putting on those needles. Okay, and you can see that they've knitted off quite nicely. Okay, and again, I'd say I'd do at least two rows to clear that. Okay, and I've done um, the right goes to the left and then the left goes to the right. So we can do opposite ones this time. And this one feels, if you're right-handed, this feels slightly more, um, uh, a little bit sort of fiddly. Okay, so this time I'm going to bring the lefts over to the right-hand side, and then the right ones over to the left-hand side this time. A little bit of, ooh, we forgot to stitch there, that's not a problem. I'm going to come in there and pick up that drop stitch before it disappears. for a moment and bring bring those forward as well okay 
<clears throat> and then let's do another one, say here. Okay, because you could do these anywhere, anywhere you like. Okay. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the left ones over to the right this time, and the right ones over to the left this time. Okay, so you're putting a bit of strain on those stitches, that yarn on um, that you've crossed over, the stitches that you've crossed over, just helping that over there. So I would bring those needles forward. Okay, and just by doing that, it just alleviates a little bit of the um, the tension that's caused by pulling those stitches over. Okay. I've done a couple more uh, courses there and hopefully you can see the stitches starting to form, certainly the two over two cables, they're really showing up there now. Okay, so that's your um, uh, using the transfer, the two transfer tool and the one transfer tool. And when you've had a little go with that, what you can do is bring in the three and three um, prong tool. Okay, and let's do something over on this side now. So this time I'm going to bring three out. Okay, and another three out. On the right, and I'm going to. Now this is a bit of a stretch now because we're moving six um, stitches all together. Okay, so it's a bit of a. I'm sort of almost having to pull those over, stretch those over onto those right hand needles. So again, I'm definitely going to bring those needles forward, okay, to help them lift off. And again, leave a few um, needles, uh, stitches in between, and then do maybe another one, say here. So I'm not really worrying too much about what the final fabric looks like. I'm just getting the technique right, okay. So again, stretching those needles over to the left, Everything's a lot tighter now, so again, if you've got them, you know, just help those along. Uh, they're like little knitting tools. Okay, and again, on the other needles there. Okay, and again, don't forget to bring those needles forward, because there's quite a bit of strain on those stitches there. Okay, so I'm going to do another couple of rows. Oh, that is a little bit tighter now. Okay, two. Okay, so I might want to up the tension a little bit, so I'll pop that onto tension number 10, just because I think it's a little bit tight there uh, for those stitches. Okay, so hopefully you can see those there. And I'm going to do a couple more, say over here. But this time I'm going to take the left ones over to the right hand side. Okay, and then taking the right ones over to the left. So a bit of a strain on those ones there. You can see that the yarn is getting quite stretched there. So um, it'd be good to have, I mean, this is a cotton yarn, so it's quite a strong yarn. The Canali is quite a strong yarn. But if you had, <coughs> excuse me, a, um, uh, a yarn that was a little bit more brittle, um, you, you may not get away with um, knitting um, on this. Well, you might have to up the tension quite a bit um, and just be careful about you know whether you're stretching those um, stitches too far. Okay, so I've just done one over there actually. And one, two. I say at least two rows you need to be doing there. Okay, so you can see hopefully we've got the one cable twist there. We've got the two cable twists there, and then we've got uh, the three cable twists. Okay, so they're more pronounced, the three over three ones. Okay. Um, just to remind you, we are looking at the back of the fabric, so although you can see them, you don't actually get the full um, picture of, the, of what they look like, but um, I'll turn those around in a moment uh, and then we can have a look at those. Okay, so with single bed um, cables, um, they don't always uh, show up um, how you want them to, so what you can do is do some, if you're going to do them in a vertical um, direction, you can do your cables. Okay, I'm just going to do one there just to demonstrate my next. Um, because it's only two over two, you might be okay, um, but if just for peace of mind, I would bring those forward. I think they will knit off okay, but just for peace of mind, I'm bringing those forward. And it's a good habit to get into. Okay. 
Okay, so I've done four rows in between those cables and those same needles, i.e. those ones there that I just brought forward, I'm going to do another cable there. So the same four needles I'm crossing over in exactly the same way. Bring those needles forward just to help the stitches knit off. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do those same four needles. I'm going to cable again. Okay. Okay, so that's three cables that I've done directly on top of each other with four courses in between. Okay, so hopefully you can see them there. And then I'm going to drop the stitch either side of that cable. I'm going to drop down that cable, that drop down that stitch either side of that cable there, just where I'm using my tap it tool there. And these do come with the machines, um, but you can use um, an ordinary uh, needle out of the machine if you don't have a tap it tool. So what I'm going to do, a bit of a heart in the mouth moment, but I'm going to unravel that stitch either side of the cable there so I'm going to start with this one first oops this one first I'm going to let that one drop down pull it and let it ladder and I've got my thumb and finger where I don't want it to go any further so where my thumb and thumb and finger is I'm not letting it run down any further I'm picking up that drop stitch with the latchet tool here and I'm going to reform those stitches but the right side of the stitch is going to show rather than the pearl side. So I'm just reforming that ladder that I've made purposefully there. Okay. Rehang those reformed stitches onto the needle and you can see there's a right side stitch there. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, I've got my finger there, so I don't, uh, my thumb uh, there, so I don't let it go any further than where my thumb is. Let the stitch go directly next to the cable. Let it run down with a little helping hand if it doesn't want to go. Okay, and then pick up the drop stitch there, holding it quite firmly there, and then reforming, oops, get that ladder, reforming that stitch. So the stitch goes past the latch there, then you get the ladder in the hook of the needle and then pull it through and that forms a new stitch. Okay, and you do that on all of the ladders that you've made. I'll try and go a bit slower so you can see that forming. So it will take a little bit of practice to do this, but as I say, if you keep it a nice big stitch and an easy yarn to use, so nothing too sort of hairy or boucle or anything like that. And then rehang that stitch there. Okay. And then we're just going to carry on to a few rows. And then hopefully, take that there, if I can break it. No, it's not going to break. Okay. So I'll take this off and I'm just going to show you underneath or behind on the, on the cables there. So hopefully you can see the cables more pronounced on this side and then you can see the drop stitch that I did on that um, two over two cable. And by doing that you make this cable stand out a bit more proud away from the surface of the fabric so it looks like it's more sort of a 3D structure. Okay, so there's your cables on the single bed. And this cable we did, this is the final cable we did, where I dropped the stitch either side just to make it stand out that little bit more. Okay, so that is your basic cable. <laughs>